Okay, welcome to part three. Thank you for um, thank you for your patience and for hang, hanging in there. Uh, this is it. Do you hear the fans? Ultra quiet. These are the best brand you can buy. This is pushing cold air. Uh, you can't hear it. You see the GPUs are spinning. Now it's working. You can see the power switch nicely done in here by the people uh, that put together this rig, the, this brand, Basiltech. Um, you can see the GPU on uh, the motherboard has power. Everything has power. You see the USB drive in blue is on. This baby is on. It's online. Let's look at what this uh, what this rig how it shows up online. No keyboard, no nothing. Um, so very proud of it. I ended up running with just one stick of memory. It has eight gigs. You don't need more than four. Um, I have two. I ended up taking one out. I gotta put it on another rig. And um, this is only eight gigs, but you don't need it because you don't need the you don't need the CPU at all. So the fans, very happy with the fans, very happy with the placement. It's super quiet. And this is the new home. Um, and he's gonna live here and make me money 24 seven. Let's uh, pause and let's move to HyperOS and look at the hatch rate. Um, okay, so now let's take a look. Now you have you, 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 your rig is online and now let's go over to HyperOS. Um, Hive OS is pretty cool. It's one of my favorites. This uh, it is it's a Linux uh, light that they actually allows you to control your rig, the entire hardware. You actually connect. Uh, you actually control it remotely over um, over the web. So um, I'm not gonna go into details as to how you create an account and all that. I just wanted to show you just uh, some quick numbers. There's gotta be another um, another video on how to create an account with HiveOS and how to set up your wallet and how to s set up the fly sheet and everything that is required for you to start um, for you to start mining. Basically, in here, what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you uh, that my rig is online. I have one worker uh, that's one rig, and that rig has one GPU, uh, which is online. If the GPU was for any case overheated or or offline, then the one would actually show in red on the other side. So this is a a, a good sign. Uh, the GPU is working. It's online. Uh, it shows you the uh, the wattage uh, is consuming about 109 watts per second, uh, which is not bad. Um, then in here after 24 hours they will even tell you how much power it takes on average it should really be no more than about 25 cents uh, than you're paying extra per gpu on electricity depending on where you are if you're in the us um, the next one is because i have my wallet connected this actually shows you the uh, hash rate that i'm getting which is really good after I overclock my GPU, you must do that uh, in order not in order to be able to tap into the maximum hash rate and make sure that the then the GPU is never utilized to 100% because that's gonna just fry your GPU and they're very expensive. Uh, so I'm doing about 46 uh, mega hash per second. So that means that I, I'm getting transactions and uh, in here is <clears throat> you have two options you can do over a over a, you can do a, a, the et hash over um you can select your your own exchange uh a market uh, or pool or you can choose the by default the hive os is free um so uh, if you actually choose something else HiveOS will actually start charging you $3 a month. Hopefully by then $3 a month is not a lot if you're actually making, you know, a few hundred bucks a month on, on this rig. Um, 
obviously I just powered this so um, I wanted to show you that I had transactions I wanted to see how much power is actually consuming uh, in a few days I'll actually revisit this and post another video where you can see the balance in what I'm doing daily um, and real quick I wanted to show you so in here I have a farm so obviously Hive OS is built for scalability so you can actually have many rigs um, and be able to manage them all from here very simple very easy to use UI so this is my farm and if I wanted to go into a single um, into a single um, a worker I can do it through here in here it's important that when your workers are showing then you always click on problems and you wanted to see a, any any a workers with problem it will show on here so I always have this showing uh, making sure that it's not overheating or that it's offline so uh, when it shows me online I can actually see King Todd is online and I can see how much I'm mining I'm mining a 46 mega hash in a single GPU this is a, a radio an AMD radio 6700 uh, which it has a is is 12 gigabytes uh, per second um, and it has a 12 a gigabyte a 12 gigabyte memory uh, GPU so it's excellent for mining um, because the NVIDIA cards are almost impossible to find and they're super expensive Radeon is a very good alternative for you to at least get your feet wet and start uh, tapping into this the money is not really on the on the hash rate the money will come to you uh, when you actually get rewarded on uh, on depending on what you're mining on the gas fees and the gas fees as you can as you know people have been buying crypto like crazy so the um, the hash rate uh, the gas fee on on a transaction has gone through the roof where people are paying you know a hundred dollars in a transaction fee in order to buy a hundred dollars worth of ethereum which it makes no sense but people are desperate and they'll pay it so the higher the gas fee uh, the more money then we'll be making because we're actually processing with our GPUs a transaction so this is another view and in here I just want to show you so King Todd is live and it's right here is my Radeon 6700 XT it shows you the 12 uh, a GBs in here, 12 gigabytes. This is a, a the FXX uh, brand. So it shows you everything. It shows you the driver and everything. You can control the driver for the car from here. You can control the temperature in here too. From here, the only part that I'm going to show you is my values. If you want to copy them, feel free to do it. Um, I actually have on the power. I have a limit on power consumption no more of 250 watts and in here I'm way below that and I'm consuming about 111 watts because I'm doing transactions right now um, this is my cord this is um, um, something else that I saw that I found online today that is is a good idea to do and this is my BDD and my memory uh, so uh, let me show you real quick what the overclocking values are so if you want to copy them you can do that so uh, the the core clock the values actually uh, came from uh, another youtuber called red panda uh, he uh, shared on one of his videos the um, the the values that he has on the 67 the 6700 so uh, kudos to him and uh, he's always putting a lot of good content online so that's great uh, I wish one day I have all the GPUs he has um, so the core clock uh, this one works the core state on 5 is stable as you can see my rig is stable is not overheating I had the voltage at 800 the memory at 800 I had the memory clock at 1075 and I put in my own power limit on this at 250 watts so it is not to exceed that I have obviously my my auto fan on and I have a limit as to when it's too hot for my uh, GPU to shut down and this is something that uh, the HiveOS is actually going to control 
they're managing the, the rig, so I trust them and I know that if you set up rules um, to actually shut down the rig when it hits certain temperature, it will do it. Uh, so it's great, uh, I, I love this. On the next video, we actually gotta go and do a deep dive into all the softwares that are out there. Some are actually scammers, uh, so be very, um, very uh, cautious of that. And the next one is, and we also gotta talk about uh, what to find, where to mine, what the websites are based on your hardware and the power uh, that you wanted to use, the wattage, uh, what could you mine, where do you go, where are those settings, how do you get in the game. Nobody is showing you this shit. Uh, so I wanna make sure that this information is really for beginners and so you understand what you're doing, so you understand that now that you put together the rig, then it costs you about two to three grand. What do you do? Where do you go? Where do you mine? What do you mine? How much you get paid? And is your rig safe with the software that you're putting onto it? So all this information will be covered in the next video. Thank you for watching.